so I'm back at my desk. Um, yeah, it is a Monday, <laughs> and it is kind of a very Monday Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's been a pre pretty not that exciting day. I uh, went to work, did ceramic analysis at work, had chicken soup for lunch, did some more ceramic analysis, <laughs> went home. And then, you know, got a little more interesting. I went, I took food over to the boyfriend's and cooked it there. So we had dinner together. Watch some TV. Watch some curling. I don't really understand the, like, I, I can tell how it's played. Like, the the actual, like, movements of the game seem relatively simplistic, but I do not understand the scoring. That being said, the, um, uh, I think it was Norway U.S. played? And their pants were fabulous. They were kind of terrifying as well. But, um, yeah. And then I would watch some stuff on some on tree houses. Just random stuff. Um, and the boyfriend wasn't feeling real good, so I let him curl up on the couch and came home. I'm gonna go to bed here relatively soon, even though it's only 8.30, I'm not gonna stay up late tonight. But yeah, it's pretty standard Monday. I had a more, excuse me, hiccup. If I had a more exciting day, then maybe I would have a more exciting video blog. But, that being said, excitement is not all it's cracked up to be. Um, I'm gonna say, it was actually a pretty nice day as far as work days go. I really, like, it snowed last night and I was really hoping for, like, a delay or something in the university so I could sleep a little longer, but no. I saw we had, like, a, like, when my first alarm goes off because I have multiple alarms that, like, wake me up a little bit and then I can, like, wake up the rest of the way. But, um, uh, and when I turned one off and noticed we had, I had an email from the school and I was like, yes! And it was just this email announcing that they were going to be on their regular schedule, which is just mean. Um, it really wasn't, I mean, they shouldn't have had a delay, so it wasn't. We had snow, we had a good bit of it, but it was really fluffy, and so it didn't, I mean, I didn't even have to, like, scrape to get anything off the car, like, there was no ice on the windshield. It wasn't even frost, it was just fluffy, fluffy snow. Which, if you're going to start the car, with the door open and fluffy snow all over the windshield, you should make sure the wipers aren't on. Because it will knock a large amount of snow into your car. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been knitting. I started the sweater for which I swatched. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. So this length of needle is actually working pretty well for this because it's back and forth. And that really makes it easier on the needle, but it's just plain stock of that stitch from Malabrigo. It goes really fast because the yarn is really smooshy and nice. I almost kind of wish the yarn was a little bit more variegated, but I think overall it's probably good that it's not. I just like knitting variegated yarn. I don't really like wearing variegated yarn. It's the sort of thing where I knit things and then just end up not wearing them, and I don't want that to happen with the sweater. The last sweater I knit, I it's basically unwearable. I should probably pull it out and save the yarn, but I just haven't brought myself to do it yet. And, you know, looking back, the choices for that one were not great. It, it's a bulky sweater on big needles. Like, it's a worst of weight sweater on big needles. It's oversized. It's kind of a tunic length. It's got, like, the roll, rolled hem, so that's kind of messy drop shoulder. It's not a good look. And then it's got this wide, like, wide neckline with a rolled hem. It just doesn't work. So I should probably pull that out next time I have some time when I don't want to do anything. But I hate to do that. And I keep making sweaters. They're unwearable. I frogged another sweater recently because I had leave, left it alone for a long time. And it did not fit at all anymore. Like, big gap, like that much of a gap between the button bands. Like, that's not gonna work. So, 
you know, trying to make that not happen with this one. I chose a sweater pattern that looks like it's highly flattering on pretty much anybody. Um, thus far, basically, the pattern said the most important measurement is like the length of the armholes and the shoulder to shoulder length. And well, my swatch says I got gauge. This doesn't. So I ended up going with, and my shoulder width is the same as a size, like, basically the rest of my body is a medium and my shoulder width is the extra large. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but looking at the construction, <coughs> it doesn't seem to really be a problem. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Um, because all I need, like, I'm just going to follow, like, the shoulder width, and I ended up adjusting the stitch count, so there's 60 st stitches on here to make it that wide. So that's a solid shoulder width, so that's armpit to armpit around the back, but yeah. Um, <coughs> and, and I gave it a left length, like, weight underneath, so... I can get it over a long sleeve shirt. So that's really important. Um, at least for this time of year. Because I find it really frustrating that I have these sweaters that I can't wear a long sleeve shirt underneath without being too tight. Like even this sweatshirt, I had long underwear on, underneath it before my bath. And like it was snug on my arms all day. And it's really annoying. Uh, I mean, for it won't be that much longer that I'll need to wear long sleeves underneath the sweater. But I need to get and have sleeves under the sweater for a while. And yeah. I don't know. Um, it'll be warm by the time it's done, but I don't care. <laughs> and so I'm kind of just making sure that the back piece that actually provides the structure fits and gonna make sure the armholes fit. And other than that, it's gonna be about making sure the sleeves aren't either too tight or too bulky. And it looks like the way this is constructed, I will be able to try on the sleeves as I go, and that is perfect. Speaking of sleeves, I've been working on a little bit, recently, not like today, on these sleeves. I'm doing two at a time, so <clears throat> they at least match, in theory. <clears throat> and, um, hey, my voice is going all over today, but I needed to... But yeah, see if are to the elbow and they seem to be the appropriate size, so I will continue to knit all the way up to the armpit, and then they will join the completed body. And yeah, I think I actually want to have it come down to my actual wrist. Frequently I make my sweater sleeves a little too long. But for this one, I think I'm just gonna go straight, you know, like right down to like this bit of the wrist. So right there, cut it off, and you know, not do the too long thing because that gets a little annoying in the field, and that sweater will most likely be worn in the field during the colder seasons. Because, I mean, we're not in the field, like, right now. The ground is frozen. It's a high of 22 today. It's 21 right now. And, um, tomorrow is a high of 27. Oop, snow on the weekend. <laughs> Just check the uh, weather. But, um... And weather like this, we're generally not out in the field, but the thing is, like, even though you're moving around and stuff, if you're working all day out in 50 or 40 degree weather, it is bone chilling. Like, like that is hypothermia weather, is rain and 50 degrees or less. And, and you're thinking, probably thinking, 50 degrees sounds really warm for hypothermia, but that's really not the case. Um, but yeah, so sweaters are good, flannel is good, long underwear is good, <laughs> um, layers. You always want to be able to layers, and, and the key to wearing overalls in the field is put, buckle them over your coat. Or at least that's the key to wearing overalls in the field when you also are going to need to pee in the field. Ah, the glamorous life I live. Well, I, I mean, that's pretty much my day and my knitting and yeah I will talk to you all tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow I'll have something more to talk about I think it will. All right. you have a good night